There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this massive clash, but now we need talk about it no more and instead focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity to delight and dazzle no matter who you support. Stay tuned for all the action. Good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Paris FC and they take on the San Jose Earthquakes. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Just the challenge that was required. Amel. Good tackle. <laughs> Unable to keep the ball that time. Can they create something from here? And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Nicely blocked. Pellegrino. Possession lost. Nuhadiko. And he has options available. And he's in. And it's come off the keeper. And the keeper has it after that tension-laden sequence. Well, what a great first save that was. How did he stop that? Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? But nothing comes of it. And he might be through here. And the keeper to the rescue. Well, he takes some beating, that's for sure. It really is a top-class save. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Well, they're almost extending an invitation to have them come at them. A real opening now. Oh, he squandered the chance. And he was clean through as well. And on the verge of hearing the half-time whistle, and they've mostly silenced the home crowd. Stuart, interested to get your take? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. The first half here comes to an end. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half.
well underway once more and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half really getting stuck in well it's a good looking position is there a goal in the future but quick thinking defensively. Good use of advantage. Well, letting it continue to see if, in fact, there was an advantage, but not so. Free kick. And time for the change now. continues his run and let's give credit to the defending and we're into the final half hour retaining possession proving difficult Now, who can he play it to? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Good technique displayed. Nicely timed tackle. Thwarting him. An alert piece of defending. That is how to apply the pressure. Ibo Bissi. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Here's Camara. Amel. Showing a real will to win the ball. We're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Unable to keep the ball that time. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Kebal. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. And the electronic board, and so the referee blows for full time, and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today, 